Hi everyone, I'm Chris. Welcome back to another video. I've got a haul for you today. I'm pretty sure what's inside this box has come from France, so let's open it up and see what's inside. So I think what is inside this box is from the brand Jacques Fat. I've recently sampled all their range. I picked out my favorites and they very kindly said they were gonna send me some of my favorites uh, as bottles. So let's open the box and see what's inside. Yes, we do indeed have a few bottles in here. So I'm gonna go through these with you and just pretty much give you an overview of the entire Jacques Fat range, just quickly. All right, I've got everything unboxed. I've got my samples lined up and my test strips because I'm just gonna smell all these again as I talk to you. What I'm gonna do is go through each of the, the samples and uh, just briefly tell you about those. And then I'll dwell a little bit more on the ones that I've got bottles of, which were my favorites out of the bunch. All right, first up is Le Loden. This is a vetiver, ylang ylang, tobacco patchouli fragrance. So it's a floral, musky scent, really rich, a little bit creamy. I'm just smelling this actually, and I'm, I'm thinking, why was this not one of my favorites? Hmm, yeah, maybe this is uh, one that I'll hopefully get in the future. So Le Loden is really nice. Then we have Belle Ombre. Again, this is one that really came close to me choosing it as one of my favorites. This is perfumed by Cecile Zorokin, so you can understand the kind of quality we're getting with this fragrance. This one has white florals, oris, vetiver, leather, musks, and of course, a really lovely amber accord. So this one, uh, I didn't pick as one of my favorites because it does stay quite close to the skin. It's one of those types of fragrances. So as rich as it is, it's it's, uh, it's quite subtle, I, but I really love the smell. I just didn't choose it because generally I like things with a little bit more projection, but Belle Ombre is really good. The next one is Lilas Exquis. Again, this one is really nice. It's very floral, leans a little too feminine for me personally to wear, but it really does smell very elegant. It's got lilac in there, this violet cream accord, so it has this nice creaminess, and then there's some blueberries, so there's some fruitiness in this one as well. So again, really nice. This, I'd love to smell this on a woman. This is a, a fantastic fragrance. I think this might even be one of their best sellers as well. So if you're a female watching this video or you're wanting to buy a, a gift for a female in your life, then uh, I'd definitely check out Lilas Exquis. Next up is Rosso Epicurio. This one is a floral oriental. So there's some vanilla in here, lots of florals. There's some plum as well. There's jasmine, ylang ylang, tuberose, all the florals basically. Um, again, I could wear this. It's got a slightly jammy rose in there as well. I could wear it, but it's not one that spoke to me as much as, as the ones that I picked as my favorites. Again, maybe just leans a little feminine for me, but the quality of this is superb. Of all these fragrances, the quality is superb. You can tell that there's been no scrimping in terms of materials used. Um, yeah, Rosso Epicurio, lovely. This next one I really love because it's in English. I don't have to put you through my awful French pronunciation. This one's called Red Shoes, and I can see why, because everything about this fragrance just smells red. It's got red berries, it's got rose, and then there's some cashmere in the base, really smoothing it out. Uh, again, super high quality. This reminds me of how my mum used to smell when uh, her and my dad were going out in the evenings when, when I was a kid. So this really um, rich, uh, feminine smell, uh, nearly said sensual, but I don't really want to say that in the same sentence as, as my mum, but I'm sure my dad thought so. Um, anyway, red shoes, uh, despite being an English name and easier to pronounce, it also smells fantastic. Uh, again, if you're a woman watching this video, definitely check this one out. Now the next one is called Green Water. This one is also perfumed by Cecile Zorokin, and this is quite a famous fragrance. I think this is the fragrance the brand is most well known for because it dates back to 1946. So this has been resurrected, and this is quite fresh. There's some Neroli, uh, it's a little bit minty and there's some oak moss. So it's this very crisp, very refreshing, refined sort of fragrance, completely unisex. Um, this was almost one of the ones I picked out as my favorite as well, but the ones that I did, I just preferred a little bit more to this and uh, they projected a bit more than this one as well. But this is a, a nice light summery fragrance. Um, green water, lovely. The next one is called Le Frivolité. Excuse my really bad French pronunciation once again. 
Everything about this one is, is pink. Um, it's got rose in here, there's oris, and there's a very smooth suede. So this one smells feminine, but youthful and sexy. I really like this one. Um, not for myself, but to smell this on a woman, I think this one would be great. So bright, youthful, sexy. Okay, we have made it to the first of the bottles. There are five bottles here, so I guess you could call these my top five Jacques Fat fragrances. This one is called Loré de Bois. The notes in this one are bergamot, yellow mandarin, Moroccan neroli, mimosa absolute, orange blossom absolute, broom absolute, ylang ylang, gold accord, cashmere and sandalwood, honey, amber and musks. So this one is fresh and sweet. So the brightness comes from mandarin and mimosa. And then there's this gorgeous, almost sticky, sweet honey accord. But the thing I love most about it is with all this sweetness and freshness, there's this like spicy woody backbone that runs through it, which gives it this nice masculine feel. If it weren't for that, then I don't think this would have been in my favorites, but I just love the spiciness. And I just think it's a really, easy fragrance to wear i think it's going to get attention and in these warmer days at the moment in the summer i think it just works perfectly so uh, lorry de bois is a good one for a nice warm summer's day For the next one, we are back to another Cecile Zorokian composed fragrance. This one is called Vers le Sud. The notes in this one are green notes, lemon, lavender, marine notes, floral notes, fig leaves, violet, oak moss, musks, and woody notes. This is stunning. Again, this is a summer fragrance, but it's not just a, a, a light, fleeting citrus summer fragrance. It's got some weight to it, which I really like. So it's got this really bright, mouth-wateringly juicy lemon. And then there's some slightly salty marine notes and uh, then there's some fig leaves. I don't know if fig leaves do the same as, as fig, I'm not quite sure, but I do get this nice rounded fruity figgy quality to the heart of the fragrance. So if you're looking for a great scent to wear in the summer, I actually think there's enough uh, weight to this to be able to wear it year round, but it, it really does associate well with the summer. So if you're looking for something that is citrusy, but it's not just too light and bright, and it's gonna last uh, a little while, and it's gonna project, and it's got some weight to it, I think Vela Sud is a good choice. Um, the brand describe it as a fragrance that is reminiscent of walking through nature, uh, perhaps somewhere hot in Italy or in the Mediterranean, and I totally get that. It just, um, it just evokes sunshine, and good feelings, you know, being in, in a happy place. Uh, Vela Sud is, is a great fragrance. Uh, it's gonna work really well in the summer, so I'm looking forward to wearing this a lot more over the next few weeks. All right, for the next two now, we're getting into slightly darker, richer territory, which you know is a genre of fragrance that I like. Uh, so this one is called Tempête d'Automne, which means fall storm. The notes are bergamot, orange, mandarin, pink pepper, cinnamon, coriander, ylang ylang, white flowers, lavender, sandalwood, tonka bean absolute, milky notes, musks, and leathery notes. This is great. So. I think the ideal time to wear this would be in the autumn, so I think it's uh, an appropriate name. And it's, it's this sort of milky, creamy, ambery fragrance, but it's got some kick to it. There's some cinnamon and coriander, and then it just has this really nice, creamy, milky smoothness. And then there's also a little bit of structure coming from leather as well. This is just such a crowd-pleasing, sweet, well put together fragrance that I think would work perfectly well in autumn or winter. I can just imagine dressed up sharp in a suit, uh, going to some sort of special occasion, then this would be the sort of fragrance that I would wear. It's maybe almost too good for an everyday wear. I feel like this is, you know, this is a bit of a statement making fragrance. This is when you want to get noticed and uh, you want to smell special and you want to stand out. So Tempet d'Automne, superb fragrance and actually my third favorite from Jacques Fat. Two more to go. My number two from the house of Jacques Fat is a woody, ambery whiskey fragrance and it's probably that third note that I just mentioned which 
makes this one of my favorites from the house. This one is called Velour Boise. The notes are bergamot, divana, mate, spices, which are cloves, elemi, and nutmeg, immortel, whiskey, carrot seeds, patchouli, sandalwood, Armenian woods, gayak wood, and ambroxan. I mean, I could just say whiskey and leave it at that. And you know why I enjoy this fragrance. I'm actually getting into my whiskey a little bit more at the moment. And one of my favorite whiskies is a Dalwini. I discovered it years ago. And to me, that is a very smooth, slightly creamy, mellow, easy to drink whiskey. And I think that's why I like this fragrance so much because it's not this strong, sharp, peaty whiskey accord. It's very smooth, it's very creamy. As this one dries down, there's some sandalwood and that whiskey boozy note mixing with the slightly creamy sandalwood mm, just smells fantastic. But it's more than that because uh, the spices here, so you almost get this sort of spiced wine accord from it as well, which just blends really nicely with the uh, the booziness of, of the whiskey and the smoothness of the woods in the base. So I, I love this for quite a few reasons. I, I love the association with the whiskey and the enjoyment of that. I find it warm and comforting, but it's also attention grabbing and statement making. The spices really give it some lift. So I think when you're wearing this, it's gonna be projecting well. I think people are gonna notice you. It's one of those fragrances that people will be asking what you're wearing. Absolutely stunning scent. I love that the color of it just looks like whiskey as well. Velour Boisé means velvet woods and I think that says it all really. Wear this and you're gonna feel smooth. Here's the presentation. It comes in this really nice card box, really classy. And then the bottle is sitting snugly just inside here. And the label goes all the way around the middle. If you can see there, it's sort of uh, inset into a groove. And then we have the Jacques Fat logo. And also we have uh, the name embossed into the glass there. So overall, I think it's a really good presentation. Right, we're on to my number one fragrance from Jacques Fat. This was only just number one. I liked Velour Boise almost as much as this, but this just edged it for me. And on paper, I wouldn't have thought it would be a fragrance that I would love as much as I do, but uh, I do. This one is another Cecile Zorokian fragrance and it's called Curacao Bay. The notes are lemon, tangerine, pettigrain, orange, marine notes, frangipani, blackcurrant, musks, grey amber and woody notes. A blue fragrance, blue for the ocean. This does remind me of an azure blue ocean, the kind that you're just staring out at and you're longing to just dive into. Really tempting blue ocean. I think I like this one so much because it's so transportive. It takes me to places that I've been in the sun where you have that gorgeous blue ocean. You've got some salty marine notes and some citruses in there, but somehow it manages to be a blue fragrance without smelling generic, without smelling overdone. It, it doesn't smell like any other blue fragrance I've tried. And the other th reason I like this is because it's this blue style oceanic scent that, uh, that has some weight to it as well. It's not just a fleeting shower gel type clean fragrance. There's some class to this. There's some density to it. And uh, it really has some, has some firepower. You know, I put this on and it projected great. It lasted all day. I wore this for the gym. I wore it around the house. I wore it out and about. I, I couldn't stop wearing it actually. And I just got addicted to it. It has this slight suntan lotion type of smell. So it just smells exotic and, and tropical and addictive and warming reminds you of being in happy places, you know, when, when you're on vacation, when you're on holiday. So I think this one just really connected with me. So on paper, I'd normally go for your tobacco, uh, richer, darker scents, but something about Curacao Bay just really spoke to me, really connected with me. Maybe it's because of the time of the year, because it's warm and, and sunny, and it's the type of scent that perhaps I, I gravitate towards when it is nice and warm. But really loving it. If you 
If you like marine style oceanic fragrances that have a little bit of that suntan lotion vibe, then I think you'd really enjoy Curacao Bay. It's super easy to wear, super mass appealing. I think it's as enjoyable for those around you as it is for, for you to wear yourself. I'm in love with this one and uh, thankfully, I've got a big old 200 ml bottle of it. So that's my overview of the house of Jacques Fat. I would not really come across this house until they reached out to me and I tried them. I thought they were great, so I wanted to make this video to bring the brand to your attention. If you're interested in anything from Jacques Fat, I'll leave a link to their website. And I would recommend at least getting some samples, maybe do what I did and try the whole range and work out which ones are your favourites. And then uh, I'm sure your partner will uh, enjoy finishing off the samples that, that you don't, because there's a bit of something for everyone here. So let me know if you've tried this house. I've started to see a little bit more about them on YouTube, so I think maybe they're gaining a little bit of momentum and rightly so because I think people should really smell these fragrances. They're all easy to wear, they're not too artistic, they're not too complex, they're just nicely done, quite mass appealing fragrances made with good quality materials. So yes, uh, do check them out if you get the chance. All right, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good and I'll see you in the next one.